welcome to the vlog all right so imagine someone comes to you from a from a different country or something and they bring you a fruit a fruit right and you eat it and you love it it's the most delicious fruit you've ever had or one of them not the most maybe but really really good right but you've never been to that like this person came from a trip from a country that you had never been to so and this is a, a new fruit for you so you're like oh man this fruit is amazing you know where does it come from what tree does it come from you all of a sudden you want to know because it's it's a fruit that you didn't know existed and it's beautiful so amazing right and so it drives you to the study of the origin of that fruit. And so you, you know, imagine that someone tells you, oh, this fruit comes from this tree, the tree of the such and such, which only exists in Thailand or something like that. So you go to Thailand and you go and you ask some people, or maybe you don't go to Thailand, but you go to the internet or find someone from Thailand and you ask some people and say, well, you know, is it true that this fruit comes from this tree? And they say, no, who told you that? That's a myth. That's not true. That fruit doesn't come. I have that tree in my backyard. They don't do, they doesn't bear any fruit. You know? Now imagine that at that point you go, oh, bad, that's a myth. You know, there was nothing to this. This is what I see people do, right? I said, but wait a minute. This all started with the real fruit you ate. What does it matter that it's not that tree? It's got to come from somewhere. You know, for the mind, it's so easy to get, to lose the sense of wonder. Oh, you know, it's proven to me a myth that didn't really happen. But where is the fruit from? The fruit, your experience, not an intellectual thing, anything planned, anybody planted. Your experience is that you ate a wonderful fruit. And then you wanted to study the origin. And it turns out that the origin is not so easy to trace. Well, wonderful. It's got to come from somewhere. The important thing is you love the fruit. So, Francis, what are you talking about? What does that have to do with martial arts? Everything. You know? Remember that my fascination with martial arts history started with the training. It's not that I ever set out to be a scholar of the history of the martial arts and this is an intellectual pursuit for me. What it was is I love the martial arts and I've been training for many years and I love it. And then more recently when I found my teacher George Lee, you know how incredibly this clicked with me and made me it really changed my life, right? Changed my life. And, you know, I feel at home in that system in which I'm connecting with my body and learning a lot about myself. That's why I do all this. That's why the podcast, A Thousand Exits with Dan. That's why the YouTube videos. That's why I can't shut up about the martial arts. People who work with me, I work in the idea industry, right? People who work with me, I'm constantly talking about excuses or about Bruce Lee and Kung Fu and martial arts. And not only those people. Jigoro Kano and uh, Funakoshi and Ueshiba and so my point is I love the martial arts right so for me I had with this particular system that George taught me I really had a revelation I thought it was an incredible system of honesty connecting with the way the body works the body mechanics it was an experience I had made me feel incredible. Talk about science in movement, right? But that was something I didn't set out to discover. It happened. And only because of that, my mind went, wow, who, who came up with this? What genius! Whether it's one person, whether it's multiple people over multiple generations, but there is no denying to me Whoever came up with this system has the category of genius because this system has changed my life. 
it clicks with me in a very deep sense. It's led to knowing me, my, to knowing myself better, and it's become my passion to do and develop, right? You know. So now, only because of that experience that is so real and life changing to me, I set out to know the history. I would have had no interest otherwise. It's not like I had a particular interest for the history. I've said it in another YouTube video before. In fact, in school, I didn't particularly like history. And now all of a sudden, I love history because it makes me curious of understanding the origin of them, of this incredible, incredible system. But in the study of that, there's many, there's many gaps. There's many pitfalls. There's many things we don't know. There's many, there's many rivers without a bridge or the bridge has destroyed. And so as we study the history, we go back to the founders. There is what we know. There is what we have no idea about. And there is what we have clues. And it's fascinating. But you know, many of the myths or traditional stories that we tell about the origin of the system, just like many, many, many martial arts systems, especially from China. When you study them, they say, well, there is no basis to know that this really happened, which by the way, doesn't mean it didn't happen. Well, that's another thing that people just don't have a scientific mind about. Not having proof that something very, very ancient happened does not prove it didn't happen. It just establishes that just like we could absolutely you know, if you get into the dinosaurs and if you get into the documentaries, you may have the wrong idea that everything that existed in the past has to leave a mark and a fossil uh, today. And that's not true. A very, very, very small percentage leaves that. And so that we could have had thousands and thousands of species of animals roaming on this earth we have no knowledge about because they didn't leave anything. The conditions by which you leave something are very uh, outliers are particular, right? So it's the same with this. You get into the situation of the martial arts and out of the desire to understand who came up with this incredible thing, you get into the desire to look to, to the history. And so that's how I got into the history. And then the, the findings led me to more and more interest because so many things I see today in the martial arts, not just in my system, are explained by the history. But when I find a story that it turns out to be mythical or not as historical as one thinks, or we don't really have enough to establish one way or another, I don't get disappointed, right? Because remember, this all started with a reality, a system that changed my life, a system that had a deep effect in my life, something that I do that I did for years before I even got interested in the, in the history, that I might have never gotten an interest in the history and just done for the rest of my life, like many good, tremendous martial artists that never get interested in the history of it, right? So it's like the story of the fruit. Just because now it turns out it doesn't come from that tree and now I don't know where it comes from. <laughs> Why would I get disappointed? The fruit is, an, is a reality in my life right so this is all a fascinating a fascination to know but i see so many people getting ah uh, you know it's like the mind loves that extreme it they either has to believe they have to believe in this magic or then you you know that didn't happen that way okay then blah, blah. there's nothing there what do you mean there's nothing there forget about history forget about myth train 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 oh no i'm gonna think train and let it become real for you a system in which you know yourself to a level you never even imagined and you can test it against pressure increasing pressure and you see it work and you see what well, those principles truly are and then you might or might not be fascinated by who on earth came up with this system you know and if you don't don't worry and if you do then you already have something real to pursue the history of. So whether it's the myth or not, it's coming from somewhere. This is why I say 
the truth is more fascinating than fiction because when you have established that something has such an impact in your life, then we know it's real. You know, imagine you have this system, incredible system that changed your life. And you thought it came from this mystical monk from the mountain of Bhutan who saw seven dragons. You know, and then all of a sudden you, do, you dedicate 15 years of the research and you discover it came from this little old guy who was a janitor in the early 1900s in this government building. You see my point? I'm inventing this. Okay, so you get a janitor. He wasn't a master in Bhutan. He didn't see seven dragons. He wasn't even ancient. But he freaking came up with the system that changed your life. So that to me is more fascinating than the story with the seven dragons. Don't you see what I mean? I don't need a whitewash story because I'm starting a story with something real. So I know it has to come from somewhere and that somewhere is going to be fascinating to discover. You see my point? The problem is when people get into this historical study without making it first a real experience for them. And then they're, they're almost questioning their minds whether this might be interesting or might not. But for me, there's no question this is interesting because this system changed my life. What my, my teacher gave me has already been born its fruit and it continues to, of course, constantly. But my point is, whatever I discover, it's incredible. If you tell me that it came from this janitor or whatever story with the least allure that you can imagine to me it's going to be like what that's even more incredible you see what i mean because i know what they created because it's changed me you know so it's the same with the story of the fruit if you met imagine you met bruce lee imagine you were someone like doc palmer i'm sorry this is a little longer of a clip but it's really at the heart of my daily experience and this is not about Bruce Lee, but I'm just giving you an example because it's a very, very good example of this controversy. You met Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee was then just Bruce Lee. You didn't know he was going to, because you, this, you met him, imagine you met him in the late 60s before he went to Hong Kong, for example. Maybe you met him in Oakland or Los Angeles or Seattle before that. So whatever, change your life, you know? They changed the life of Jesse Glover, changed the life of Jesse, James DeMille, gave you something, developed, helped you develop yourself in one way or another. And you love that guy, love that guy. Had a tremendous impact on you. Like mm, hundreds of people you can read. And then Bruce Lee died, entered a dragon, became famous. Bruce Lee started to become a legend. And today you're probably much older because you know, it's 2020 now, and you're like reading the stories and people saying, wow, Bruce Lee didn't know how to fight. Bruce Lee, there is two schools of thought. People that love Bruce Lee, people that say this is all myth, he didn't say his quotes, he didn't know how to fight. And you look back and say, look, I met a man and he was my friend and he changed my life. He gave me so much. He gave me all this energy. He was full of passion. He taught me he taught me a system of Kung Fu that was very real to him and he could use. And all of this is my experience. You see my point? Then you look at this controversy and it's all out of nothing. People who worship Bruce out of nothing. People who, who criticize Bruce out of nothing. And say, well, for me, this is real. You know? It's a reality that touched my life. I don't need to worship it. And I don't need to criticize it. But since this was a man that influenced my life, I made I may develop an interest to know about him, but only out of the experience of having someone that touched my life deeply. You see? This is what happened with my system. And this is what happened with this hypothetical man that ate that fruit, which was a real delicious fruit for that person, right? Maybe you find the origin. Maybe you won't. But he loves that fruit. Stay safe.